Bragg's Bible Bites. We hope you're all doing well, especially under the circumstances. We know there's a lot of people um, in one level of difficulty or another yeah. right now, some not well at all, and we would encourage you to be in prayer for anybody who is sick, whether you know them or not, um, and uh, continue to hold this whole issue up before the Lord for his deliverance and his mercy. Um, it's a difficult time for everybody with uh, entire states being shut down for all intents and purposes, people losing their jobs, uh, yeah. being laid off. Um, we've even had some of that affect our own family as well. Um, but the Lord is good. Yes. Um, we, we have discovered another resource for keeping track of what's going on. Um, it's called Worldometer. And we'll provide the, the link to that in the description as well. Um, so we would encourage you to take a look at that. There's a, a lot better data on there than you can get some other places. Um, and some of it is actually more encouraging than what you might normally see. Yeah. Um, we've also got a big announcement to make that we just discovered today. And um, that is there's a doctor who has developed a treatment for COVID-19 and we've got a link to that and we encourage you to watch that video yes. um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a, in a second but um, Elizabeth has a, a few things that she wanted to share as well so I'm going to turn it over to her and let her roll with it for a few minutes. We're told in the scripture if my people who are called by my name mm -hmm. will humble themselves and pray and repent of their sins mm -hmm. I will hear from heaven and heal their land yes. and I love the word heal it's not just our land but all of the countries of the world have been affected by COVID-19 mm -hmm. it is a very serious uh, virus and it has caused a lot of disruption and a lot of just chaos yeah but as we pray and as we have been praying I've been sharing on my personal Facebook images and videos of nurses and doctors praising and worshiping yes. and of, of the um, in law enforcement standing in the middle of the road, lifting their hands and praising and worshiping God. And when we do that corporately and individually, the Lord from heaven hears Yes. and he will heal our land. Well, like Tony said, this really exciting news is this doctor, mm -hmm. Dr. Vladimir Zelenko. We've attached the um, video as well as the, um, I guess, the, the article. The article, yes. Thank you. <laughs> so you can go through and read it. It is excellent. This doctor has taken different studies that have had kind of good success in other places around the world, and he's applied them and made like a, a, a really good cocktail of drugs that seem to have, for the ones he's treated, 100% success rate. Yep. So we wanted to get this information to you because if you know someone who has it or if you know a family that's been affected by it or you know someone who works in a hospital, please share this because we want to get the information out. Yep. And we would also encourage you to keep praying for the Lord to tear down any spirits of deception that would try to hinder yes. information that's good. Good sound information. Right. Um, for whatever reasons. We don't yeah. really care or know the reasons, but we just ask the Lord to get this information into the right hands right. and the right people. That's right. This doctor is now beginning to treat people outside of his district because in other districts they're not they're not um, up to date on some of the the um, right. breakthroughs. So without further ado, we're gonna have like a two minute video of Dr. Zelenko and then go to the end of the video. We're gonna have the link as well as the worldometer link because it gives you real-time stats it shows really you the good. cure rate it shows you the the um the the current uh case rate mm -hmm. the active cases uh it even has a breakdown that shows you what percentage of cases are mild to moderate what percentage of the total cases are severe so it's a lot better information than what we've been able to find uh so far right so Anyway, so thank you for watching again. We're going to let Dr. Zelenko wrap us up and then we'll have the links at the end. But thank you for joining with us in prayer. 
we thank you for subscribing to our channel and encourage you to subscribe subscribe but whether you do subscribe or not please share so yes. that other people can get the information that absolutely. they need absolutely this is this is what matters the most that's all that matters so, so thank you thank you thank you for watching and um we'll see you on the next video and we'll turn it over to dr zelenko bye oh give me the results they're your results you have you, you should be the one to put them out what are your results doctor um, and I'm, I'm about to publish those uh, outcomes. I've had zero patients die. Zero die. Zero patients uh, intubated. Yep. And I have uh, currently three patients admitted in the hospital with pneumonia. But they are not intubated, and I think they'll be fine. And this is after treating? I think 450, 500, something right. like that. 450 to 500. Are you pe treating people right now as we speak? Yes. Is the uh, number declining or increasing or? In increasing, actually, because I, I'm the only doctor that uh, seems to be doing it, or one of the first, and if not the first. And so when this became public, the whole world started calling. And this is to the American people. If you're young and healthy, you'll be fine. The, your immune system is strong enough. Statistically, it, it's been proven you will recover. You may be miserable for two weeks, but you will recover. You'll be fine. So now you have the, so anyone who has shortness of breath, regardless of their situation, I'll treat because that's a dangerous symptom. So even, if, even if it were a young person, if they had yeah. shortness of breath, you're going to go, you're going to go right to the, right gonna to the, hard. you're going to hit them hard. You're going to hit them hard with the hydro, with the uh, Z, Z pack and with the zinc. Z pack is a dose schedule I it's would five it's, it's like f five pills right right I, I use a different regimen let's re let's refer to it as zithromax or azithromycin uh, okay. Zith zithromax and how what 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 do you give them of zithromax 500 milligrams one pill a day for five days and then what about uh what about the hydroxy uh quinolone? how much of that do you give them i use a hydroxy um chloroquine 200 chloroquine, chloroquine. 200 milligrams twice a day for five days. That is a slightly lower dose that's be, than what is being used in the ICU. In the ICU, the first day they use uh, uh, 400 milligrams twice a day, and then they go to 200 milligrams twice a day. What I do uh, in the outpatient setting is use the, the lower dose uh, of 200 twice a day from the very beginning, for now. now. Why do you do that? Uh, because I, it's you know this is the art of medicine. We want to uh, have maximum benefit with minimum side effects. So um, I thought that since these patients are not critically ill, it's reasonable to use more moderate dosing. Would you would you uh, change that if you saw very serious symptoms? I'm actually you know this is all, please, Mr. Mayor. You have to know that this is all new, and I'm I'm developing this stuff as I go along. Um, this is like battlefield medicine. I'm giving you a, a report from the front yeah, And I really appreciate this, that you're doing this. You're really helping a lot of people. But I guess the question was, are there any times you vary that 200 yeah. milligram? Uh, I'm, I'm beginning to vary that. Well, I haven't yet, but I want to vary it in the older population that are sick, sicker, because uh, I think they need to be hit harder to, to prevent them from going to the hospital. And, and the zinc, uh, is there any dosage of that that you would... Uh... I use 220 milligrams. And how often? Once a day. For five days also? For five days. <laughs>